Punk Rock John introduced himself at my first show. He said, kid, protect your teeth, do not lick the walls, and don't piss off the crusties. If you get cut, let it bleed. You'll be fine. I was 15 years old, thinking about unzipping my veins, but while most 15-year-olds would have done drugs or written a fucking poem, I went to shitty bars and basements and gave my best friends black eyes. For the first time in my life, I knew when I fell, someone was gonna pick me up. That first mosh pit was not a quiet conversation about suicide. It was punk rock John telling me, Hey, asshole! Don't kill yourself! Don't waste your unscarred knuckles! My rage bloomed. Why hate myself when I can hate my parents? High school, the radio, record stores, magazines, corporations, yuppies, my parents, cops, rain, sunshine, beach days, phone books, bottle of water, and tiny fucking cupcakes. God damn, that first day of punk didn't sound like Buddy Holly played back double time, distorted, compressed into four chords. The first time I saw Punk Rock John, he was halfway through a front flip stage dive, and he landed directly on me. He picked me up, dusted me off, and threw me back into the pit. Punk Rock John was six foot four, had hands the size of a kick drum, and he smelled like a 20 year rain. He was Noah. He was our shepherd. One time, I was getting ready to drop kick some metal kid when John got me in a headlock and said, Quit fucking around, Neil. You don't know who this kid's friends are, and I ain't putting you out if they set you on fire. John told us that the church of punk rock was always open. If you want to pray, just crank up the stereo till your ears bleed. If you want to pray, just grab your brothers and sing. Sing out of tune. Sing the wrong words. Just sing loud. But then some out of town skin dropped a guillotine knife blade into John's skull. The blood was pouring from his ears. He was dead before he hit the ground. John brought me into a world where I felt loved. And that world took him away. I buried my leather jacket, patched the holes in my jeans, tried to pluck the cord like stitches from my chest. But John still speaks to me. When the world is larger than I am, when my chest is a vice, I put that needle on the record. I turn it up until I can't hear shit, and I tell myself, as long as I have hands, I can break something. As long as we can breathe, we can sing. As long as I can remember, I will hear him. He says, kid, you'll be fine.